What's up guys, welcome to another musky hunt. Out with my dad. It's his birthday today. Here we go again. Here we go again in the canoe. I think we did this last year on your birthday. Yep, I think so too. And we did catch a couple muskies, yep. but uh, yeah. Uh, yesterday we went out fishing in that beautiful uh, cold front. Rainy conditions should have been amazing. And um, we got one. So I might play that clip here. There you go, there you go. I thought I saw her coming, but I had weeds on my bait. This is the little guy. Not too bad. Might be touching. Eh. Okay. All righty, lifting her up. Nice. All right. That didn't take too long. <laughs> Guess we should have been out here earlier. <laughs> That'll work. Alrighty, first musky of the morning. Nice chunky little guy. Ate that chopper, so cool. We got a top water bite here. Okay, bye bye. Just like that, uh, much bigger fish to catch here. And of course her tooth got into me right when she had, a, she has, they keep flopping right at the net there. And we're trying to release these fish, but uh, she's good to go. Got her on the Lee Lures XL Chopper. Um, been a great bait this this August and uh, now into September, so super cool. Gotta love it. A nice Chopper XL fish, nice little guy. But uh, today, I'm getting in the canoe. Getting to, uh, just got an afternoon of fishing here. Um, I don't know, should be good. Yeah. Got some decent weather, some clouds, bluebird a little bit, nobody, post frontal. Nobody around. Nobody around on Labor Day though, so that's not too bad. Uh, we looked at some of the other bigger lakes and we're like, well, let's try, let's just get out. Let's just get off the grid a bit and uh, that's what we're doing this evening. So uh, hopefully a good topwater bite, but uh, we will see. I'm excited. Alrighty, digging in the box of river goodies. My river tackle box, but, or musky pond box. I'm gonna set up my dad here. 400 side shrinks, slow speed, great top water reel, um, and cast tackle salt, uh, salt stick surgical strike, nine footer. Nine foot's a little crazy for uh, a canoe, but uh, that's all right. It gets the job done. All right, here's your pole, Dad. And then I am going to start off with a little black and orange micro dragon. See how that goes. I'm sure they have not seen many chatter baits in here, so that is the game plan. There you go. Nice one. Really nice one. Okay, it's not that big. Wow, what happened to you? You got so much smaller. That was so cool. It's always a struggle netting in here. <laughs> so, while your partner's trying to get the get the net undone, just keep going in a figure eight motion around the boat. You ready? All righty, I'm gonna lift her. Wow, well, I, don't, I don't know what happened. She, she looked so much better. <laughs> Not quite, but first muskie of the day on the Angry Dragon. All righty, got the first muskie of the day. See if she'll cooperate or she's gonna jump out. I'd like to get a look of her. Alrighty. Come on, girl. There you go. First musky <laughs> of the day. Beautiful little greeny. Super cool on the teenage dragon. Alrighty. Bye bye, buddy. There she goes. Sweet. Um, so that was a good first 10 minutes of the day. Musky aboard. That's three muskies on this trip, man. Or four. Four? That's pretty good for us. <laughs> no it kidding. It usually brings the bad luck. <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get back to casting and uh, keep on rolling. All righty, folks. Caught that fish on the black, orange, angry dragon. Um, we were fishing some thicker cabbage next to some lily pads. And the nice thing about these kind of chatterbaits, um, they run through the weeds pretty dang well. Um, like right here on this spot, it's uh, pretty cabbagey with lily pads. You can keep that rod tip up high. When you bump in the cabbage, you can just get it a rip. And usually you'll only come out with 
a leaf or two. That cast was pretty dang good. But uh, either way, these fish will bite it with a weed on it. Um, it's not going to stop that blade from chattering up front there. So it's a nice, especially cabbage fishing, it's nice to uh, run these things. They go pretty dang good. The nice thing about them, you can just give them a little pumps, make them a little more erratic instead of just a straight retrieve. The figure eight nice. Spot is so nice. There's so much nice cabbage here. Should get another one here if they are biting. But uh, we got a few hours before sunset where the real magic happens. So good to get a fish early. Hopefully get a get another one here soon. Oh my gosh! Keep the head down. It's a big one. It's a big one. Keep that head down. Here, here. Got her. What Got the? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What the frick happened there? All right. So we're working on her. <laughs> All right. You ready? You ready? Yeah. Heck yeah. Heck Look at that yeah. sled. <laughs> that's a big pond monster. I mean, Take that's, a picture too. that's a big one. Wow. Congrats, that's a big one. Thank you, Robbie. Yep, let's get it back. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, this way's good. Yeah, that's a big one. Got her? Yep. Wait, I think she's okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's awesome. Oh, yes. This is a good trip so far. This is a good trip. <laughs> Well, folks, that was pretty incredible. I wish, uh, I hope we got something on the camera. That, uh, that eat was incredible. I hope my hand wasn't blocking it. And the cartwheel that that thing did, I think I turned and just in right in the good time and saying, that's a good fish, that's a good fish. I think uh, that's one of my dad's, uh, what, second over 40? Yeah, yeah. And never that exciting. Never that exciting. <laughs> Yeah, that that was. I mean, the the chopper wasn't even at the boat. I mean, it wasn't even moving. It was literally just sitting there. My dad's about to make another cast, and this musky just blasted. That was awesome. That's a very big fish for you know a body of water like this. Did not see that one coming, but uh, yeah. So two fish on boat, two for two. It's like 4:30. Sunsets in a few hours. I mean. I think our goal is five. I think that's that's what I'm gonna say. But if uh, nothing else happens, <laughs> pretty no, I'm awesome. Good. I'm good. <laughs> but the way they're biting choppers in the sunshine like that, that's just incredible to me. Um, one thing though, it was flat calm when that fish bit, and it, it was right before this wind kind of kicked up. So maybe that little weather change, for whatever reason, that muskie felt it and bit. But uh, I don't know. Hungry muskies are hungry muskies. Oh, dang it. In the slop. <laughs> dang it. Was not as big as my dad's, that's for sure. Gosh, just rolled up on that thing. Not gonna do it again. Yeah, we're in the back cabbage here. <sighs> Another bite on the hangry dragon. Big one was on that chopper 715 color. Yeah. That'd be cool. Now, yeah, our percentage is going down. <laughs> Two for three. Got to be some more back here. Yeah, you can see how thick it is, and this bait really does you can bulge it. You can kind of pop it over the weeds and just break through. If you do feel it, but dang it. There you go. Got it. Nice one. All righty. Just bulging that thing. Okay, netting on this on your side, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, good one. Good one. Get over there. All righty. Just stuck in that cabbage. Just you don't have to clip it. All righty. Coming your way. <laughs> All righty. That was like two. Two uh, musky bites and uh, three casts, I think. That's a good one. <laughs> Sweet.
Alrighty, we are three for four. That was two bites in uh, about four or five casts. So, a nice little fish here. Gosh, they're, when their mouths open, it's like, I think you have a mid 30 size fish, but not a little 30 incher. Super cool fish. Big heads on them, big eyeballs. Impressive, love it. This guy back. There she goes. All right, that's two on the dragon, or three bites on the dragon, one on the chopper. It's a good, it's a good <laughs> afternoon we're having. This doesn't suck. Well, folks, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to retire this angry dragon. Had to snip the hooks on that one. She was kind of hooked near the gills, so uh, snip, snip, snip. Uh, always be prepared. Always have your hook, hook uh, cutters there, and yeah, that's a bummer. This one was working good. But I think I got one more in, in my box here. All right, that'll work. Teenage Dragon Micro Shredder. Little blade on the back. I like that. It shouldn't matter, color doesn't matter. And I'm, this uh, blade actually might help me because I can uh, work it a lot, a uh, little bit slower over the tops of the weeds that, other, that Micro Dragon, without the blade, it uh, runs a little bit shallower, so. Uh, but yeah, those two bites were me bulging that bait and uh, super cool. Well, folks, as you can see, there's a big boomer coming our way. Somehow, some way, this is happening. We've got a, I don't know, some Lake Superior effect, I guess. It might be uh, soaked in the canoe, but yeah, if we get three or four more musky bites, I'll be fine with that. But man, look at that thing. It's coming. Did not see this one coming. The weather up here is so funny. Just, you get the most randomest stuff. Gosh. I think right when that sun. It's the cloud line. We'll get our next bite here. But, uh, geez, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, good one. Oh, nice. God, oh, oh. Big one. That get in there, get in there, get in there. Throw, throw, throw. That was a big one. That's not close. <laughs> I know. <laughs> She did not get hooked. Yeah, that was probably a 40. 40 inches. I get in there. Come on. <laughs> okay, that was a rather large one for this body of water. Another over 40. That's just absolutely incredible. She was angry. She tried twice for that shredder. I'm going to throw something a little different here. I'm going to rip a mini Medusa back there. Sun just hit that cloud line. There it goes. See how fast that thing shot? No, I can't. <laughs> just a little guy. We don't need to net it. Just keep casting. We are uh, in the prime window here. That's on the shredder, too. How's it going, buddy? Yeah, we don't need to bring you into the boat here. <laughs> I just saw those lily pads move and I was on with a musky. That was cool. You gonna shake off for me, bud? Bye bye, bud. Sweet. Can't be dealing with those in the net when you just had a 40 inch eat. All right, that's fish number four. <laughs> Goal is five. We're just knocking on it. Gosh, the things are shot from those pads. That was so cool. So that fish came on the white. Teen A tackle shredder. Cool. This will be fun. I hear. I hear a train. I, I hear a train. That's a good way to say it. 
lake is flat calm, but uh, there is some rain coming our way. Wow, is that violent. Let's uh, go under some trees. Well, folks, this is what sadness looks like. We had biting muskies, but this storm is back building, and it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, here till dark, unfortunately. So uh, we got to get uh, a couple miles of uh, really not good weather right now. I did not see this one coming. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Got a 40 in the boat, and uh, gosh, this is crazy. Okay, but yeah, uh, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next video. This is going to be a rough lower rodeo here.